Okay, um, I wanted to uh, touch on the basis of our street theater. Um, let me turn it down because that, uh, that thing tends to be loud. As you can see, the uh, milligrams in EMF is around like uh, 500 right now. Now, um, normally this would bother the average person, but it doesn't bother me thanks to my uh, plants that I got around here. Um, it really, really douses the effects down. So anyway, um, as far as uh, gang, uh, gang stalking, mobbing, uh, a lot of the stuff that they do, like um, as far as driving, you know, like the uh, pacing around with the driving that they do, as far as um, also like the honking of the horns, and yes, they do do that from time to time. Um, but they only, I think they only do that when they uh, can't really get your attention or something like that. So they'll do stuff like that and um, they'll constantly say like uh, a whole, anything that would catch your attention or whatever. But you got to understand it's all based off your attention. It's all based off for you to pay attention to them. The, uh, the one thing you want is for them to actually get desperate. Because it's when they get desperate is when they act irrational. When they act irrational, they tend to go a little bit overboard. And then when they go too, they, it gets to a point where they end up going too far, tripping over their own feet, that they screw up. And now they're the one in the hot seat. Um, now, as far as uh, identifying your perp, you can uh, identify a perp uh, with, with a face. As I stated before, uh, Google, Bing, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff does a facial recognition search. Um, even, they even have some sites that do it too. So anyway, there's that. Um, a license plate will do. Um, a first and last name will do. And uh, the thing about that is, uh, is that um, you can also, like, as far as... Um, things are concerned uh what i realized is like uh, when it comes to these emf attacks like it seems like every time they're near like these perps are nearby you they always go on their phone and do something and then you know you get beamed so what i figured out was um which you know get a, a mylar bag or something like that get a, a mylar bag or something like that to put your phone in or your electronic device so it'll be safe and what you want to do is uh if you can build in a strong enough uh emp jammer that uh can do it from a radius from a few distances because they're going to get close a li at least a, a few feet from you for the for, you know for them to scan the area if you uh get near a gang stalker and uh they try that all you would have to do is turn that emp jammer on and then they won't be able to send the text message to the people who are actually controlling the satellite satellite to beam you know to beam down on you it, it, it won't even work like they won't even be able to uh you know make the signal because you you're jamming it now i'm pretty certain i'm gonna piss a lot of people off with this information but uh uh, that that that's actually a uh, a good way for dealing with that. And again, like I said, get a uh, a mylar, some type of bag that can prevent uh, electrical uh, pulses from reaching your electronics. Mind you, though, like when you do this, it may, depending on how strong this is, it could fry their phone. I'm just gonna give you some warning about that. So use this as at your own discretion. But um. Yeah, that's that's definitely like one of the ways where you can actually like prevent them from sending the signal out. So if it gets to that point, they can't connect to you. Um, now I started doing some research about uh, as far as um and some bio biological research on this, and what I realized is like the uh, whenever they beam this stuff down on you, like you get a tingling sensation from the back of the head, and then it comes in like you'll feel a, a rush of blood coming from the back of the head going towards the uh over over the top part of the skull all the way to the front part of your uh where your forehead is and it was always that type of sensation now what i was wondering is and i even asked this in one of my previous videos is if anybody else who's going through this if they had any bumps on the back of their head 
And if I find out, like, that everybody who's going through this has bumps on the back of their head, like unusual ones, just in random locations or whatever, not even just in random, uh, the ones that I got are kind of in a, a bit of a pattern in a way. So it, it, it's, it, they kind of leveled off, so it's very unusual. So what I was wondering is if people had bumps on the back of their head, because um, I popped one of these before a while back, and uh, there was... It was like a mixture of both a little bit of blood and uh, fluid in there. So I didn't know what type of fluid this was. Um, and I realized that uh, like whenever I was to rub one of these bumps, right? Whenever I was to do that, like uh, the EMF connection would like really get jammed and the gang stalkers would go ballistic. And I would do this over a period of times, right? And I would do it so much to where, uh, like, they would literally start freaking out. Um, so the thing that I'm getting getting off, uh, getting at here is that uh, what I realized is if you were to, now, again, this is for your, do this at your own discretion, at your own risk. I do not accept any responsibility for anybody doing this. But um, what I did was I didn't use no uh, no uh, no type of tools or nothing like that. I just popped it like a regular uh, bump on your forehead or your cheeks or your face, right? I did that, and then uh, what you want to do is um, take a bit of uh, iodized, a little bit of iodized sea salt because I had a feeling that there may have been some type of fungi in there too, since it felt like it was still somewhat opened. So what I did was I took that since it's, that's so that's actually pretty powerful with killing funguses. So I took a little bit of that, uh, some water, and then um, some aloe, aloe vera because it's good for healing. I took a little bit of that all natural stuff. You don't want to uh, really use none of the heavy stuff because um, with the way this is, like it's gonna hurt if you use that kind of stuff. And um, with the uh, with the iodized sea salt, it's like it was kind of like a burning sensation, but not really on to my, not as far as burning my skin but burning something else. And this is why I was sensing that there was some type of fungi there. Like there's some type of fungus that builds through that and then it splits through causing that and it builds up on the inside, you know, hence the fluid. So if you use that, it's going to kill that off. And then uh, with the aloe vera stuff, it heals it up. And then over time, I, I don't know if this is going to stop the EMF uh, connection and all that. But this is just my theory. I haven't tried it out yet, but I do plan on to. And again, if anybody else attempts to do this, do this at your own discretion. Do, do this at your own risk, I am telling you. Um, just be careful because that is near the, the, the backside of your head. It's kind of close to your brain stem. So you definitely want to be careful, okay? Definitely want to be careful. I will leave a uh, warning discretion on this video. Just so people know, uh, and again, uh, I'm going to go to the EMF meter. You can see they got it at uh, around like 500 right now. It's on the uh, 500 milligrams. If I uh, put up the sensitivity, it, goes, it just goes crazy. So I'll go off of that. Um, again, the hacking. So you see the EMF. You see the hacking attempts. Um... I don't even think I, yeah, I do got YouTube out. So let's close that. And uh, as you can see, all those IPs um, are trying to access my uh, X recorder so they can try to prevent me from uh, doing videos. I, now, you normally uh, I was using my regular camera on my phone, but what happened was like they were, they were uh, messing around with whatever video I was trying to take with that. So whenever the video, like I was done recording with the camera itself, I couldn't uh, use it. Now, X Recorder doesn't, it doesn't, it's not just good for recording your screen, it's good for recording uh, with your camera, it's good for recording selfies, it's good for all of that. You can use it for all three. But unfortunately, you can't uh, just record the screen with the camera. So, that way it makes, th this whole thing just, and they got more than just X Recorder out there, it's just that, that's just the one that I use. But anyway, like this just makes it a lot easier for you to catch the uh, dirt that they're doing. And as I stated before, when they do this, um, they'll either try to uh, force you to incriminate yourself or they will literally set you up by literally you hijacking your IP and putting a buttload of stuff on it. And they can't send you to jail for that. But what they can do is they can come up, they can use that as an excuse 
to open a further investigation on you so they can put dirt on you. So you just got to be you just got to be mindful of that. You always got you always want to uh, take the evidence down of what they're uh, doing, but do it with discretion. As I said before, like when it comes to uh, certain places, like if like with your state laws and all that, and when it comes to private property, when it comes to recording, you want to know the law. You must get the pamphlet of whatever state you're living in and actually know the law because you don't want them tricking you into breaking it. One of the things that they will gladly do is, uh, and in my case, like on private property, they do a whole bunch of dirt. The uh, higher ups know about it, and uh, I ended up finding out that they got hidden cameras everywhere at the job. So, like, they've been new about the situation that was going on. But uh, the reason why they weren't able to get me so far is because I know enough about the law to actually uh, protect myself, you know? Like, you, they, you'll have some people, like, claim, like, you did something, right? Or you were at fault for something, but they don't want to show the footage. But legally, they can't hold, they can't just say, like, you're at fault for something without showing the evidence. So my question is this, like, if I am at fault for something, why won't they show the, you know, the video evidence? And it's because the truth is, is that the video evidence shows fault on the opposite party. But they want me gone because the majority rule, the majority is ruling on the opposite side, even though the opposite side is in the wrong. So that's where I was getting at to what I said there was favoritism going on along with side of my job and the neighborhoods and whatnot. Now, not, not everybody out here is like that. Not everybody. But unfortunately, this organization has infected so many people that it, they just get so enveloped in the money. But I don't believe that. Um, I don't care how much money it is, man. Like, I don't think that selling yourself like that for money is worth it. I don't believe it. Because, um, and as I, st I said this before, I said it before, I believe that, um, I don't believe that, like, no amount of money, no type of uh, reward or anything like that is worth uh, going to hell uh, for, you know? And I say going to hell because, well, like, you're tormenting and destroying a life. That's precisely what they're doing. And the thing is, like, um, it's crazy because, like, when they do this, like, and it's no telling what's going to happen, man. Because, like, I've seen scenarios to where, like, they will either, even turn on each other. No joke. I've seen, uh, I've heard stories about uh, actual gang stalkers turning on one another. You'll have a gang stalker being turned into a T.I., but at the same time, like, they get to a point where they will force that person uh, for deflective purposes. As for me, um, they tried that one to where uh, they, that, but this guy, I don't think this guy was a T.I. I think he was just a gang stalker. And he, uh, the first thing that happened, I noticed, was on, uh, was on, on uh, the social, like, the uh, network, the online networks. The, uh, the dude was in the chat session and he ends up saying some really weird stuff and um, it was like really close to interest of the, the Illuminati and whatnot and he ends up saying like um, like you, like he was trying to get me to understand like their views and crap and whatever and I'm like dude you know what man no nah, I'm good I'm good there's, there's no way like I'm lowering myself to that kind of uh, thing you know like I'm just not gonna do it and I say this because, like, you know something? Seeing everything that I've seen, experienced, and uh, heard, I'm like, you know something? The devil's influence is really freaking desperate. So you got to think about that. For him, for it to be that, for its influence to be that desperate to get you to do wrong, you got to ask yourself, rejecting that wrongness must be very must be it may have it may take a while but i think the reward for you know rejecting that malice rejecting that hate rejecting that anger rejecting that um that non-understanding the rejecting ignorance reject rejecting all of that i think the reward for that at the end is very well worth it but the devil don't want you people knowing that man the devil don't want nobody to know that they want you to be blinded by money by greed by hate and that stuff clouds a person's judgment. Like you don't, you won't even know what to think uh, from something like that. You really won't. And um, I, I, at first, like I wasn't even like devoting myself to God. I didn't really uh, think much of it. But like in my situation, like a while back, and I, I, again, I don't know 
if this is still in one of my older videos because I noticed my uh, first video was missing when I did something. So when I tried looking for it again, it shows up. It is it just kept playing uh it just kept playing ghost or whatever, I don't know. Um but anyway, like uh out here where I'm living at now, like I've had a situation to where uh these uh this lady like would show up like constantly, right? Now I don't know again, I don't know if this was related to my targeting, but I get the feeling that it may have been divine intervention and Jesus was trying to warn me of the coming storm that was about to approach. And what 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 happened was this old lady just kept showing up in random locations to where I was at. And she kept saying, Jesus Christ loves you. And she would stop me dead in my tracks, man. Like she did it in mid traffic, holding the traffic back just to preach the Lord of Jesus Christ to me. And I'm like, this is insane, man. Like I, I didn't even like that. And this, it was like this on several different other occasions. It happened at the bank that I went to. It happened downtown. It happened uptown. It happened in the suburbs. It happened in the city. And uh, the last time this happened was a dude, and he did it too. And uh, this was uh, at the bank. And it was just like ran. It was uh, it was just a random occurrence. And I'm like, you know something, something was really. Uh, out about this again i don't know if this is related to my targeting but the thing about that is like i don't believe gang stalkers would stop you in the middle of the street to preach about the word jesus christ i don't think they do that because the people who pull the strings behind this are satanists and they actually look for uh deplorable uh people who have long since sold their souls away for money that's the kind of people they look for the most nastiest the most vile the people who uh, just act so who just have no self no self decency no self-esteem left anymore and they seek to siphon off that other self-esteem from other people they siphon it off another person's happiness they siphon off another person's uh health youth and well-being and energy they do this through their gang stalking they do this through their slandering they do this through this fabricated evidence that they keep doing and i'm telling you they do fabricate evidence they will set stuff up and then they will literally be sitting there smiling while they're doing it and they know all of their stuff is lies they know all of it is lies but they don't care they, they just do not care they will swear up and down saying no this person is this no that person is that they will keep doing that and um you know something one of the things you got to realize though is that they don't make you who you are they, they don't have no say so as far as who you are they don't but I'm telling you when it comes to this EMF radiation stuff man and all this uh, B2K crap that they use this stuff I, I kid you not this these technologies it, it, with the influence that it's on it has the ability to hijack your motor skills in your body it has the ability to literally fabricate and uh, project thoughts into your mind it has this ability so when it comes to this, I'm telling you, for your own safety, for people around you, start finding solutions. I'm doing the hardest I can to share all of my knowledge with all, of, all the other TIs who are going through this. You have to be careful when it comes to this because I'm telling you, you it, one, of the, one of the times uh, I ended up uh, catching exact evidence of gang stalking going down when I tried to walk off. For some reason, uh, my body just moved into the, into a dark area where there was no um, cars or any no cameras or anything, and I ended up getting assaulted just for the guy to get a hold of that evidence. Now, normally, if a person catches something like that, they would immediately go home. I didn't do that, and I can't, I step asking myself why didn't I just go home? Instead, I ended up going trying to still uh, take care of my business in the middle of the night. To, uh, and, and it led up to me getting assaulted. It was it was really an unfortunate situation, but um, I'm telling you, like, just be careful out there. Detox, get that stuff out of your system. As far as the bumps, like I said, on the back of your head, um, I, I'm not as hundred percent certain, but I have a feeling that they are related to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these things, and um. I'm going to use a uh, bacon. What I'm going to use is a uh, bacon soda, uh, alo uh, chopped up aloe vera and uh, some iodized iodine uh, sea salt. With uh, mixed mixed up 
with some uh, pure alkaline water. Not that, do not use tap water. Do not use regular bottled water. If you need to use regular bottled water, I recommend Fiji. It has a high alkaline value. Use Fiji water because they have a high alkaline uh, value. But do this at your own risk, I'm telling you. Just be careful when you do it. Remember, you don't have to use no type of uh, utensils. Just pop it like a regular uh, bump. And uh, usually these things are like really tough to pop. So you just got to work with it a bit. And then you you actually be able to pull through with it. But um, looks like I hit the 20 minute mark again. But uh, yeah, like when, when it comes to this, you got to understand like the... the uh, you don't, uh, they don't technically own you. They don't make you who you are. You were not put on this earth for their own entertainment. You were not put on this earth for their amusement. But they seek to do that because they, the truth is that they feel so um, judgmental about themselves that they want to deflect and focus that negative energy out onto someone else. And every time like I hear a gang stalker shout, say anything do any of their odd behavior the only thing is the only thing that's telling me is how much of a shitty person they are and how so regretful they are of themselves that they want to just cause pain on the others to get them to feel just as shitty as they feel now i hope youtube forgives me for my language um uh, i'm trying to uh i'm trying to air off the cussing i'm trying to turn over uh you know a new leaf on that I'm trying my hardest, but I'm getting there. Baby steps, but I'm getting there. It's uh, MMTI's strategy guide over and out.